Hello guys, uh, today I want to show you the, how easy it's for this uh, cutter to cut through filament. So I prepared here some rolls of filament, this is PETG, this is black PETG. Okay. Let me cut it to cut an angle, it will be more easy to insert it because I didn't install the idler gear. Ok, so it is inside and let's cut it. So it's cutting PTG without any problem. Let me extrude more. Ok, so let's test the what we have here. Here we have Ninja Flex TPU. Ok, this is very... Ah, I have already here a piece. It's a very flexible uh, material. Let's see, but for this, because it's very flexible, until I will install also the idler door, I need to extrude it manually. <laughs> okay, let me put the cover back. And let's see. Ah, it's not jumping because this one is um, TPU. I was expecting it to... So it's cutting also the TPU. Okay, let me test another uh, spool of filament. This is uh, ABS. I have already here a piece of this uh, ABS. This is very uh, soft, so it will cut like butter because it's ABS. But why not to show you? Okay. The next contestant is something very hard. Let me remove this. <coughs> so let's try first with this. This is carbon fiber PLA. Very hard material, as you can see it. But let's test it. And also it's a little bit th thicker than the normal filament. Let's see. So it's cutting also carbon fiber. You you, you see when I'm extruding how so it's cutting without any problem. Let's see now. This is uh, almost brand new spool of filament. This is PLA plus and just a uh, uh, small thing to add when you are uh, using hard materials you will uh, go faster through blades the blades are replaceable so it's cutting also the but let me remove the piece it's cutting also uh, PLA plus you see you saw sometimes it jumps sometimes it uh, remain there but doesn't matter because otherwise it will not jump it will remain into the um, hot end so this it is Okay, and this is the blade. So it has also a spring here. And 
this is uh, very cheap to replicate. It uses number four hobby knife, uh, a little bit shorter than normal, and a small spring. So, if you want to know more about uh, this uh, new tool head, this is called Shroud V4. Uh, it's uh, it has two nozzle LEDs, a bigger fan duct for the part cooling fan. It has here eddy or clicky. Doesn't um, you choose which one you want. Also, we have the Bictitec uh, micro probe. Uh, it is a built-in carriage and uh, it's lighter than the previous version and also uh, it has a lot of uh, features. Using, you can use it with the stock hat and stock extruder, stock um, um, part cooling fan, the big one that is blowing a lot of air. Um, what else? The stock tool head. So if you liked so far, hit the like button. So if you want to know more about this, uh, hit subscribe to be notified and when we upload a new video. Until then, happy printing. Bye guys.